Welcome again to my class. The use of to be is the topic of our material for today. Okay, uh, I had explained about the differences between the usage of to be according to the tense. Okay, so the first one I want to explain about the use to be is am are for the tense of simple present. Okay, let me tell you something about the use of those to be. When we use nonverbal sentence, means that in the sentence we don't find any verb in it. So we use to be for making nonverbal sentence. Yeah. In most in common parts of speech in English, they are noun, adjective, adverb, and verb. So we use those to be for telling other about the activities or the action that we we do in our daily activity, right? For example, the first one is. Okay, is the to be is is used for third singular person. They are she in Bahasa Indonesia dia perempuan and then he dia laki-laki and it it for not human being but a staff, right? So we use is for third singular person. She, he and it. Okay. Uh, the first one, I want to make an example or many examples of using to be is, right? The first one, the first example is, for example, Maria is a student, right? Maria is a student, not Maria, a student, because we have to put to be is after the subject of Maria. Maria is she in the group of she. Okay. We used to be easier because in the sentence we don't find any verb. Yeah, the word a student is a noun, so we have to put to be is here. Okay, guys. So the second example is. He is cute, right? Okay, we don't we don't make this sentence to be he cute. No, so we have to put is here because the subject is he, and after to be we find here an adjective cute. Cute is an adjective, not a verb. The same is a student. A student is not a verb. It is a noun. It is a noun, right? So the third example. We are here now. Okay. Yeah, look at example number one and number two. It is the same structure we used to be after the subject of we. We used to be are for the subject of we. All right. So why do we have use are here? Because after are we found here we find here it is not a verb. It is an adverb. In Bahasa Indonesia, this is kata keterangan, this is kata sifat, and this is kata benda. Alright, so we use to be for non-verbial sentence. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit crowded here because they, they are my, yeah, she, she is my niece, and he is my... Nephew, hello, yeah. say hello. <laughs> okay, yeah, guys, 
So, so what I'm gonna have uh, so a little bit no. distraction for today. All right. So those examples are the using of to be is. Oh, sorry. The third example is the using of R. Okay. So yeah. Okay. I change the example to be the cat is brown. Right? The cat is brown. Why do why do we use to be is here? Yeah. Because the subject is the cat. It the cat yeah, is in a group in the pronoun we use it here because the cat is not a human being, right? It's an animal. So the cat or it is brown because brown is an adjective. Because brown a word that refers to an adjective. Right? So this is the use of is. Alright? Okay. So we continue our explanation with the use of M. Let me tell you something. M, M is only used for a subject of I, right? M is only used for a subject of I. Yeah? Okay. I, the example, for an adverbial sentence, I am your friend why we use am here why don't we uh, write i your friend because your friend is not a verb this is a noun noun phrase this is a noun phrase so we have to pick to be am here the second example is i am here why we use am here why we, why do we have to use to be am here we don't uh, write I here. No, it's false in English. We use am here because the subject is I am here. Because here is not a verb. It is an adverb. This is an adverb. So that's the use of to be am. So we continue our explanation. We discuss now about the using of R. Okay. R for the subject of we, you, and they. R is used for the subject of we, you, and they. So, R, the to be R, is used for non verbal sentence. For example, we are in the classroom right we are in the classroom why we use why do we use are here why don't we write we in the classroom it is it is not correct it is false in English structure we use to be are here because the subject is we and then in this sentence we don't find any verb we find here in the classroom is the place or the location so this is preposition or a place that is not a verb right so this is prepositional phrase in the classroom the position the position we are in so we are in the classroom not we in the classroom is not correct in English so we have to put to be are after we and continue by in the classroom so this is not a verb this is an adverb of place or prepositional of in right so we continue to the second example the subject is you you are my brother. We used to be are here because the subject is you. 
All right. And after R, we find here noun, noun phrase. My brother. My brother is not a verb. This is a noun, brother, noun phrase. Okay, the third example is for the subject of they. They are my sisters. Right? Okay, the same explanation. We used to be are for the subject of they because the the to be are is followed by my sisters. My sisters in parts of English speech, this is noun. Noun phrase. This is not a verb. So this is a noun phrase. So we used to be for nonverbial sentence. We used to be for nonverbial sentence, right? So after listening to my explanation about the using of to be in simple present, there are three to be in simple present. They are is, am, are. So used to be, use this to be according to the subject of the sentence. Okay, let me repeat. Use this to be according to the subject. Okay, is, sorry, is is used for she, he, and it. And am, it is only used for the subject of I. Only I. Okay, and are is used for the subject of you, they, we. Remember, is, the to be is in simple present tense is used for third singular person. They are she, he, it. If you, if you, if you change the subject to the name of the person, I mean, for example, Maria or Mario, Maria, it is she. It is in the group of she. Okay? And if we change the subject to be Budi, Anchor, Mario, my father, my uncle, my little brother, we use he. And we use it for pronoun, for example, the cat, my body, my hand, my finger, my feet. So we use it. Okay. So I, the to be I is very specific. Yeah, because only the subject of I uses M. Yeah. There are no more subject using M. Only the subject of I. Okay. For the to be of R. We use, uh, I mean, is used, the to be of R is used for the subject of you, they, we. For example, you, you in singular, and you in plural, it's the same. You, singular and plural, use the to be R. And they, they means the group of she or he, or he and he, Maria and Maria, Maria and Mario, or Edgar and Budi, you I uh, mean the man and the woman, yeah, it is the group of they. Okay, we use we here, we use we here because we is plural, right? We is the group of people including me. In Bahasa Indonesia, it is called kami or kita, right? Kami or kita. You yourself is inside of the group. So that's plural, right? So this is the explanation of the using to be is MR for simple present, specifically for a nonverbial sentence, right? So after my explanation, I will write five sentences. I mean, uh, the assignment, the assignment for you to complete the sentence according to the subject to complete them in using to be the correct to be is, am, or are. Alright? Yeah.
Okay, because our whiteboard is very small, I uh, will write first the instructions of the questions. The questions. Fill the correct to be is M or R for these following sentences remember this is the instruction fill the correct to be is or m or r for these following sentences right okay can you see it clearer straight okay i will erase this instruction That's the voice of my nephews. It's cute. Okay, number one. Maurice blanks my nephew. Number two. Raisha and Morris my sister's children. Number one, Morris blanks my nephew. One. Number two, Raisha and Morris blanks my sister's children sorry 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 guys that's i cannot yeah sorry that's the fault of my nephew okay so number one is maurice blames my nephew so you have to put the correct to be here right because the subject is Morris, so what is the to be for Morris? I had explained to you just now. Number two, Raisha and Morris. The subject are Raisha and Morris. Blanks, my sister's children, right? Okay, number three. I, your instructor for today I blanks your instructor for today so I told you just now specifically for the subject of I that's very specific yeah it is the only one that use the to be of okay number four the dog black so the subject in the sentence is the dog. You have to put the correct to be for the dog. The dog blends black. Right? And number five. My grandparents blends here now. Number five, my grandparents, my grandparents blends here now. So the subject in the sentence is my grandparents. So you have to, to put the correct to be for the subject of my grandparents. Yeah. Can you see it clearer? All right. So I, yeah, I read number one, Maurice blanks my nephew. Number two, Raisha and Maurice blanks my sister's children. And number three, I and I blanks your instructor for today. And number four, the dog 
blanks blank. And the last number, number five, my grandparents blanks here now. All right? Yeah, so these sentences are for your assignment for today. Please do them. And after finishing them, please send to my email for your score. Okay, that's our topic for today. That's uh, my explanation about the use of to be in English, especially for simple present tense. All right, I'm Gudaman Tambun Saribu, your instructor for today. Thank you for listening and good afternoon, everybody. Bye.